Today we are going to talk more about skinning inside Unreal Engine. This is a bit of a follow-up from my Skeletal Mesh Inside Unreal video and I'm going to show you what sort of options we have when we are skinning and doing weights for skinning inside the engine. First part, I'm going inside our skeletal asset. So this is what uh, we have set it up last time by creating the whole structure for uh, our spider. And at the moment, if you can see, if I can select one of the joints and move it, it's not going to change anything. It's not going to move the mesh. This is because we don't have any sort of uh, skinning applied right now. If we go into the tools where we can edit the skeleton and also on the side, we have skinning, deformation, model, mesh, and so on. By going into skinning and just bind skinning, you can see that there is at the moment no effect. If it's completely blue, this means that there is no uh, effect on our mesh. If I go to skeleton, edit skeleton, and select one of the bones, then we go back to skinning and bind skinning. You're going to see that now there is a bit of red, yellow, and green. This means that this bone is starting to already have an effect on part of the geometry. And also there is a little bit of blending here at the very end. If we go into edit weights, you will notice that there is already a weight applied because if we didn't accept the bind skinning initially, uh, there's going to be absolutely nothing here. And by having the weights, if I go back to uh, our skeleton and now move it around, you can see that now it's starting to take effect. 